Hello, welcome to my channel. Today we've got a, another spooky video to react to. I'm looking forward to this. This one came out yesterday, so this is hot off the press. Before we actually get into it though, I just wanted to quickly say that I am so thankful to everyone and like the support that I've been receiving so far on this channel. It's, it's amazing. If we actually come to this over here, um, first of all, I want to say 16 subscribers already. That's amazing. A lot of people will probably look at that number and be like, 16 subscribers? Why, why, is, he, why is he so happy about a number when there's uh, about 16 when there's, you know, people that have hundreds of thousands or millions of, of subscribers? I kind of disagree with that viewpoint because um, the thing that's amazing about this is there's 16 people that have found my videos. Somehow they found my videos. I don't know how people have found these videos. Like the response to them has been amazing. Like look at that, over a thousand views, which I just did not expect at all. 16 people have found my videos and either liked me enough or liked, you know, some of the commentary that I was doing over some of the videos enough. Um, or just shared my a similar interest to me in the types of videos that I, I've been reacting to enough to hit subscribe and possibly come back in the future that's amazing 16 people and i think the best way to kind of just imagine that and like to maybe understand why i'm i'm so happy about that um is that i'm not really seeing this as just like a number i'm not seeing it as oh it, the number's gone up 16 times i'm seeing it as like 16 people imagine having 16 people come up to you in real life and be like you know what i like you I might come back in the future and speak to you again. It's a bit weird if someone did that, to be honest, but yeah, that's kind of how I've seen that. And that's just like, yeah, that that's really humbling. I'm really happy with that. So thank you. Um, if you're one of the subscribers, I'm really appreciative of you. Um, and then just quickly with like the response that I've been getting on these videos and the support and, you know, yeah, like this video has 27 comments and like all of them are positive. Granted, when I say positive, I mean like they're not negative towards me. They're kind of like positive towards like teaching me something or, you know, like giving me feedback on something. Uh, granted, half of those are probably me <laughs> responding to those comments. But even so, the response on that has just been amazing. You know, I, I appreciate every single person that's commented on my videos and, you know, have like given me an insight on, you know, things from their perspective or what their opinions are. It's just so amazing to actually see this. Um, and it's really cool because I've seen like some people that have commented on one video a few days ago, for example, and then they've come back and commented on some other videos. So they've come back to the channel a couple of days later and watched the video and then left their, their thoughts on there as well. And I love that. That's so cool. That's so nice. Um, but yeah, I just want to say thank you. Like the the positivity that I've been getting from people and the support there's people that have been you know been really nice and saying that you know you, you're doing really well and yeah I just want to say thank you it's be, it's overwhelming how positive it is but in the best possible way let's get let's let's move away from that anyway I don't want to take up too much of your time because I realize this is 30 minutes long wow okay 10 scary ghost videos these should be some chunky ghost videos then Let's get started. Let's jump right into it. So this is um, Nuke's Top 5 again, back on his channel. He seems to be doing the best. I've, I've looked at other other people that have... Because um, I'm trying to get ideas of, you know, like, good channels to react to. I feel kind of bad just going to one channel all the time. Um, but Nuke's Top 5 seems to be agreed as being the best, like the go-to scary videos at the moment. Um, but if you do know anyone else or you know any videos that I should check out, please let me know. I've seen a couple of people have given me suggestions and that's, uh, yeah, I love that. I'm going to, I'm definitely going to take a look at those when I get, to, when I get a chance to. So let's, uh, let's jump right into it. So this is 10 scary ghost videos that will give you the shudders. Okay. That's a bold, but realistic claim. So let's get into it. So obviously if you're a regular viewer, you know I love ghosts, creatures, critters, and basically all things creepy, just as much as you guys do. And that's why I'm very proud to say that this video is sponsored by Shudder. 
streaming service for horror, thriller, oh, and supernatural content. I personally have watched several really great Shadow original series and movies like the great found footage film Host. There's something. You know, we've connected with something. We gotta keep going. We gotta talk to By the way, Host is a fantastic movie. Um, I'm gonna skip past this part here. Now let's get into this week's top five. Ooh, top ten. Oh, ooh. Top ten ghosts caught on camera. <laughs> The Haunted Hill House. The Haunted Hill House in Mineral Wells, Texas is said to be one of the most haunted locations in the US. With an over 125 year dark and troubling past, that doesn't come as much of a surprise. The home was once a haven for illegal activity. It served as a gambling hall, a bootlegging operation, and even a brothel. It also served as a makeshift hospital for over 50 years. It is said that the Haunted Hill House is inhabited by the ghosts of at least nine people who lost their lives there. The Hill House can be rented out for ghost tours and investigations by interested groups and curiosity seekers. That's cool. So one night in late September, a group of friends and family rented the Hill House just to have a little fun. None of the group were quote unquote paranormal investigators. In fact, many of them were doubters who just wanted to prove that the so-called Haunted Hill House wasn't actually haunted at all. But that's not exactly how things went down. The house is said to be haunted by one particularly violent spirit that the house's owners refer to as Dr. Jaeger. One of the visitors, that's Victoria, cool. lays down on the bed in one of the rooms and jokingly starts taunting Dr. Jaeger. It did not go well. First of all, never taunt a ghost. So that's just like... Even if you barely believe in them, taunting them is going to just be bad news. <laughs> oh no. As you can see, she was yanked off the bed. This oh, was I hate that. No. And then they ran out. We're going to rewind that and we're going to show you in regular screen. Oh, that's some paranormal activity stuff. Something seems to violently yank Victoria right off the bed as her friends look on in terror. The house has a static black and white security camera in every room and it catches the action as Victoria is pulled off the bed and the group makes a run for it. One of the guys is so shook he even drops his phone and just leaves it on the floor behind him. Now, cut to almost one hour later, around 3am. A guy named Drew wants to test this alleged paranormal activity for himself. So he enters the same bedroom and immediately begins taunting the ghost of, quote, Dr. Jaeger. He says that the spirit is a coward and that if he really wants to attack someone, why doesn't he try attacking a man instead? Look at the guy in the white hat right here, guys. Follow him. Before I can even finish my sentence, I'm in the air. All right, we're going to pull it back. Did you just get like punched or something? Did you see he got pushed? He's so full on panicking Drew now. got his wish. He is violently shoved by something, and then he almost knocks down his two friends while making a mad dash from the room. It should be noted here that Drew has gone on record as saying that he will never set foot inside the haunted hill house ever again. But it gets even weirder. No. After Drew is pushed and he and his friends run from the room, something seems to yank the door shut behind them. If you watch closely, you can actually see the doorknob move as if it's being pulled. So is the Haunted Hill House one of the most haunted places on Earth? Would you go into that room and taunt the spirit of Dr. Jaeger? Let me know down in the comments. Honestly, I'd love to go there. I wouldn't taunt the spirits, that sounds like a, a stupid idea. But like actually being in there and kind of experiencing stuff like that would be so amazing. Um, wow. Oh, just getting pulled off the bed. That's like paranormal activity level horror movie stuff like people specifically don't put their legs outside of the covers because they're worried things like that would happen oh i hate that i hate that that's that was a good one i'm gonna give that i'm gonna give that a i'm gonna give that a, a solid um i'm gonna say six no yeah i'm gonna give that a six that's a, that's a six on the spooky meter Let's continue. Invisible friend. I changed my mind. It's a seven. 
TikTok user Luan, also known as Joshua Luck from Mexico, had a TikTok account dedicated entirely to his two-year-old son. Luan operates a general store on the first floor of his house that he shares with his wife and children. Then one day Luan's video content drastically changes as his two-year-old son begins to claim that he sees what he describes as a terrifying invisible child. This alleged invisible child scares Luan's son so much that he often cries in fear. Luan says that he doesn't see anything, but he says he has experienced a few strange incidents with things around the house seeming to move on their own. Then late one night at four in the morning, Luan is awoken by unexplained loud noises coming from downstairs. Thinking his store is getting robbed, he records everything as he runs downstairs. Buenas amigos. Bajé porque empezamos a escuchar ruidos y vine a dar una vuelta. Tenía miedo de que estuvieran abriendo la tienda o algo así, pero no. Vean, no hay nada. Ah, cabrón. ¿Sí vieron? No sé qué pasó, pero mejor me voy, le digo a mi esposa, porque esta chingadera se movió sola, ya me está dando cosita, es muy raro. For the first time, Luan captures something on camera that he can't explain. A chair moves on its own. Over the next few days, the unexplained activity seems to intensify every single night. Things fall off shelves without explanation. The family starts to hear whispers, and late at night they hear a light tapping sound coming from inside their bedroom closet. Uh. One night when the knocking sound from inside the closet becomes terrifyingly loud, Luan once again decides to record to collect proof. Hicimos grabar ahorita porque se está escuchando algo en el closet. Dios mío, ¿qué es eso? ¿Hay alguien ahí? ¿Quieres algo? ¿Qué es eso? ¿Qué es eso? No inventes. ¿Qué es eso? ¿Qué es eso? Se abrió, se abrió, se abrió, se abrió, se abrió. Espérate, cálmate, cálmate, cálmate. ¿Hay alguien ahí? ¿Te podemos ayudar? ¿Necesitas algo? Dinos, dinos. Oh. Sí, 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 sí. Alúzame, alúzame, alúzame. Espera. Start throwing punches into the... Alúzame. Start throwing punches into the... Into the clothes. No hay nada, mira. No hay nada, no hay nada. No sé, no sé. ¿Sabes qué? ¿Sabes, ¿Sabes qué? Vamos con los niños. Vámonos con los niños, yo creo, mira. Aquí no hay nada. De este lado tampoco hay nada. Aquí tampoco. Vámonos con los niños, vente. Luan and his wife are lying in bed when the closet door swings open on its own. Then something seems to peek out at them from oh. inside the closet. Luan rushes over to look inside, but there's nothing there. His wife seems legitimately terrified. They take the kids and leave the home for the night. Yeah. Of course, eventually Luan and his family have to return. So they decide to do an overnight recording session, hoping to catch some evidence of the strange activity in their home. What they capture is downright chilling. Oh, why is the mole? <laughs> ¿Te prendes tu cámara? Sí, ya, ya estoy grabando. Deja grabó. Acá de este lado donde se cayó era el refresco, el juguete, sí. el control. Sí. A ver, dame chancita para yo grabar. Sí, si quieres graba ahí donde se ve, donde está oscuro, allá sí, donde están las papas. Deja prendo la luz. Bueno, está bien. Voltea no, para oscuro. allá. Es que está muy oscuro y luego, ¿qué tal si veo algo? Ay, aquí estoy yo, me dices, tranquila. Ay, no. Mejor tú graba de este lado. Y yo me voy y grabo de este otro, donde está la cuna. Bueno, a ver, cámbiate. Es que mira, ¿Eh? también acá está oscuro. Did you see it? Luan claims that his phone battery died right at the moment he captured something terrifying on camera. A face with glowing eyes is staring right at them from the entrance of the store. But the bizarre activity didn't end there. On another night, Luan hears something knocking on their door. He turns on all the lights and once again starts recording. 
Buenas noches amigos Me tocaron la puerta Este carrito estaba en el sillón Se cayó Como saben me duermo a veces en la sala Pues porque me siento nervioso No hay nadie aquí afuera También he prendido la luz Pues para sentirme un poquito más seguro Se escuchan ruidos o Se ha escuchado murmullos Aquí en el baño No sé si será de aquí como pueden ver, está vacío. Vénganse por acá. Vamos a checar si de acá vienen. No, está todo tranquilo. Vamos a ver si aquí de la tienda. Aquí dentro de la tienda. Parece que aquí no es. Se vieron acá. Vengan, vamos a ver. No, aquí no son. Vénganse, vámonos por acá. No sé qué está pasando. Mejor vámonos, vengan, vengan. Me siento nervioso, vámonos. As he pans his camera, someone or something with long dark hair seems to quickly move away and out of sight. But nothing compares to what happens on the night of October 18th. I feel like that might, by the way, might have been his wife because you hear her at one point, I'm pretty sure. Just in the background, so she might have just been trying to sort of dodge away from the camera. Um, so I'm not too spooked by that. When Luan goes to the restroom, something knocks on his bathroom door. That's oh. when things get truly bizarre. Amigos, estoy en el baño. Me han estado tocando la puerta. Me siento muy nervioso, no sé qué hacer. Voy a tocar otra vez. Mira. Está tirado el florero. Se ve una sombra. Mira, se está moviendo esto. Pero no hay nada aquí. No hay nada aquí. De este lado. Se ve una sombra, se ve una sombra. No sé qué hacer, amigos. Estoy un poco nervioso. Estoy un poco nervioso. Estoy oh, la tienda. Vamos, vamos, vamos a la tienda. Vamos a la tienda. Vamos a la tienda. Vamos a la tienda. Venga. 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 Sí. Por unas cajas de refresco. Unas rejas. Unas rejas se caían. Miren. Se oye algo al enfrente. Oigo un susurro. Un susurro. Something knocks on the door. Objects have fallen on the floor. Exercise equipment is moving on its own. But creepiest of all, as Luan pans his camera around his living room, in one split second, he captures a shadow figure sitting on his couch. The same couch that was empty only a moment earlier. So what do you think is happening to Luan and his family? Is their home and store haunted by a dark entity? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. If you see a video that you think would be perfect for the top five, or if you have a ghost... I really hope that's an elaborate hoax. That's horrible. I, I feel like... I suppose you can't really say that. I was going to say, I feel like normally, normal people, if they had this experience, they'd be out. Screw it. <laughs> Don't care. But obviously that's someone's job as well as home. So there's a lot of money invested there. Um, I'd definitely set up cameras everywhere. That... Um, the closet, like the wardrobe. Hate that. That's a no. Time to call. I don't know. Call a priest. Call someone. Let's do an exorcist. Um, exorcism and just get out of it. Call an exorcist. That's it. Get just get rid of it. Get rid of it. Don't like it. No. Someone to bless bless the shop. Um, that reminds me. I don't remember where I found this out. I found out recently that the Church of England. Oh, I found this out from the Ogscast, actually. Um, the Church of England actually has a exorcism department. Like, it actually has one. But it's not known as the exorcism department. I think it's something like um, the Ministry of Deliverance or something. That's such a cool name. I just want to say that's such a cool name. Anyway, let's continue. Something channel and you caught something great, contact me. I'd say that was... that. Was, uh, by the way, on the spooky meter, that's like a... I'm going to give that a five... Um, I feel like because it kept on happening, um, and some of the some of the clips there are quite questionable. Um, it's it kind of lost a little bit of spookiness for me. But at the beginning, that was like a, an eight, and then it kind of went down to a, I'm gonna say a five. Nukestop five at gmail dot com. Watcher. The following footage was sent to me by a Nukestop five viewer who wishes to remain completely anonymous to protect his job. So for the purposes Ooh. of protecting his anonymity, I'll simply refer to him as John in the video. So, John says that he works overnight security at a well-known logistics company. 
He says that one night, a fellow worker at his job became overheated and collapsed, falling over a two-story high railing. Unfortunately, he did not survive the fall. Oh, no. Much later, that same night at around 3 a.m. in the morning, John says that he was doing what he calls, quote, camera patrol, basically just checking the footage from all of the building's inner and outer surveillance cameras. That's when he spotted this. Hey, what's up, Nuke? Um, can't really be having my phone in here, so I have the brightness all the way down, but I'm security at this place. And I am in the camera room where I'm having access to a lot of the cameras. And I just reported to my supervisor that I noticed someone just kind of like standing um, in the grass across from, uh, from the building. And I wanted to show it to you. Um, so yeah, I can't have my phone on on the screen for too long but I'm going to try to show you the two best viewpoints that I have um, so yeah here's the first viewpoint so it's that right there that is spooky there's no tree there's nothing there supervisor no but like our security procedure says that as long as no as long as he's not going towards the door then like we don't have to have any worry but like it's just been standing right there it's to the right of my cursor just to the right there I don't hear I'll even try to zoom in oh it's moving Yeah, a bad viewpoint, but like there it is to the left. And like this is a 24 camera, 24 frame, uh, 1080p camera, but like it's so like dark and distinguished. So yeah. John says that the misty shape of a person was just standing in a nearby field. John says that he watched for hours. He says the figure moved slightly from time to time, but never came any closer. Perhaps even more bizarre, he says that he almost felt like the misty figure was actually staring back at him through the cameras. Abandoned. That was creepy. Popular Maybe Chinese funny. ghost hunter King Ming from the YouTube channel O1 Supernatural Studio investigates an old abandoned house in Taiwan that has a dark past. As the story goes, a man and his elderly mother lived in the home. The man had a severe gambling addiction, and after taking all of his mother's money, he left the old woman all alone with nothing, not even food to eat. The poor old woman starved. Rumors say that her neglected spirit is unable to move on and still waits in the house for her son to return. Ghost hunter King Ming hears some odd sounds and voices in the abandoned house. But other than that, nothing much happens. That is, until he tells the sad story of what took place in the home. That's when things get downright chilling. King Ming doesn't see it himself, but his camera records what appears to be a pale, translucent face peeking from behind a corner. Oh my God, you can Many see of the King Ming's viewers believe the mysterious face to be the elderly woman who passed away inside the home, still waiting for her son to return. But what do you think? Let me know in the comments. A connection. I believe that one, to be honest. That was good. Um, I'm going to give that a four because it's not super scary, but like... That, that was good. I liked that. From beyond. Sarah Lee Sager is jokingly recording the live feed from their new security camera as her boyfriend Stacy is outside their apartment in the dark, struggling to get the new camera installed. But even as Stacy is outside installing the brand new security <laughs> camera, 
It captures someone who just shouldn't be there. I'm video recording him. Oi! I just seen a fucking something. God, really? Hi, Stacy. You look scary. Did you see it? Yeah. A woman appears behind Stacy for a brief second and then Ooh. disappears. And that's, Sarah captures it all on her phone camera inside. That's an Stacy says person. he saw no one outside while installing the cam. But what makes this footage even more bizarre is that the figure has an eerie resemblance to a woman named Teresa Tingi who lost her life in 2008 under absolutely tragic circumstances very near this apartment. After discovering the shocking video, Sarah learns that the deceased woman was actually friends with her sister. Sarah feels that this possible connection to the spirit might have been the reason that she was able to capture the entity on video. So did Sarah capture the ghost of Teresa Tingi, still wandering the streets where she lost her life? You decide. That's a full on lost person. in the cemetery. That's Back in 2015, fine. Enzo Alonso from the YouTube channel La Ruta Occulta visited a cemetery in Chile while doing research about a boy who allegedly predicted his own death. Enzo suddenly hears footsteps on his left. He turns his head, but no one there. Cut to years later, Enzo is going through his old footage when he discovers something truly chilling. A child appears right behind him at the exact moment he says oh, wow. he heard footsteps. Even creepier, the child's skin seems green and discolored. Like... Enzo claims that there were no children at the cemetery at the time of this recording, certainly not any that looked like that. He says that he and his friend were completely alone. So is it a ghost caught on camera or just an elaborate hoax? A very, very strange hoax. You can check out Enzo Alonso's YouTube channel La Ruta Occulta for more creepy paranormal investigations. Hi Jumper. That was cool. Again, I liked that one because it wasn't like, you know, overkill. It, was, it could have easily been someone. But at the same time, it was weird how they were like walking and that the head was kind of like like that. Like it mustn't have been good for the posture. Um, I'm going to give that a five. Again, it's not like scary. It's not super scary. It's not super spooky. But that's like, that's weird. And I like that. I like that one. Nuke's top five viewer Tobias Olsen recently reached out to me about some very strange footage caught on CCTV at his old job. At a Hold on. Can we just talk about that B-roll there? Hi, Jumper. Nukes the text at the top is Russian or Cyrillic in some sense. They're talking in English. That's a, actually, no. You can see on the space bar. Uh, five years, Tobias language, Olsen online. recently reached out to me about some very strange footage caught on CCTV at his old job at a trampoline park in Sweden. After the park closed for the night, the building's alarm system went off without any reason. Confused by the alarm, the team checks the security footage and they are shocked by what they find. Come what appears to be a dark shadow moves across several security cameras. Now it's worth mentioning that these cameras are located 13 to 16 feet in the air and are separated by a distance of almost 100 feet. So nothing or no one could have moved across those cameras at this speed and at this height. That's really weird. So what could this mysterious shadow have been? Is it something supernatural or just a very specific pattern of odd camera glitches. Let me know what you think. Halloween haunt or that's really, really weird. Cause it does affect the uh, the, the old Cruella well. hospital opened in 1953. It was so severely underfunded that the hospital didn't even have a morgue for its dead. Bodies were simply stacked in an unrefrigerated room. That's grim. These days, strange things are still going down at the old Tuella hospital. You see, a condemned section of the hospital is now used as a haunted Halloween attraction called Asylum 49. Many workers and visitors have claimed to see a terrifying shadow apparition that they call, quote, the man in black. 
who is definitely not part of the Halloween attraction. YouTube ghost hunters Ogden Paranormal investigated the abandoned hospital turned Halloween haunt and caught something downright creepy. Note that in this clip there is a mannequin of a character from the TV series American Horror Story that is a part of the haunted attraction. But the mannequin is not even remotely the scariest thing in this room. Did you see it? In the car. Some strange shadow appears to be peering at them through the glass, but then just disappears into thin air. So did Ogden Paranormal catch the infamous man in black at the haunted- I can feel like that's the shadow of maybe the mannequin. Although it seems kind of unlikely, I'm wondering if like the actual infrared light's bouncing off the wall because the wall looks angled and into the window, or you just seeing the reflection of like the mannequin. At Old Tuella Hospital? No, actually, it's, it's not following the same kind of tracking as the camera. That's interesting. You decide. I'm gonna give that Eyes a two. in the dark. Spooky. Ghost Hunter Sandro Silva from the YouTube channel Casa Soba Natural and its team members are invited to investigate an allegedly haunted farmhouse in the countryside of Brazil. The family that lives in the home claims that an old man haunts their farm and has made it nearly impossible for them to stay there. They hear loud unexplained sounds in the middle of the night and see shadows throughout their home. But creepiest of all, they often see the old man who haunts their home just sitting quietly in a chair in their house. As Sandro and his team begin their investigation, they hear an odd sound. Something seems to hit a drum in one of the rooms not once, but twice. Almost like something is trying to get their attention. And then things get truly bizarre. Oh no! Get out! Screw that! No. Did you see it? The team hears the creaking of a door that seems to be moving on its own. But what they don't realize is that someone or something is watching them from the dark. The thing that really freaks me out about that is that it doesn't necessarily feel like paranormal. That just feels like there's someone that's like in the house and they've like snuck through the door just to peek and see who's there. And that, to be honest, is like even scarier to have someone in the house and you're not aware of them. A figure with glowing eyes can be seen staring at them from behind a corner in the farmhouse hallway. When the video glowing. went live, YouTube viewers immediately pointed out the strange figure. But to this day, the creepy farmhouse lurker remains unexplained. You can check out the full video over on Sandro Silva's YouTube channel, Casa Soba Natural. The Unwelcome right, Roommate. Lainey and Ben are a British couple who say that their home is haunted by a very active poltergeist. For two years, they have witnessed objects moving or falling on their own. They felt the touch of something that just isn't there. Lights flicker randomly and for no reason and they hear odd unexplained sounds and voices. Creepiest of all, late one night, Lainey says that she woke up and saw the apparition of a woman standing at the foot of their bed. But it wasn't until the recent global lockdown when Lainey and Ben were forced to stay at home that the activity became so frequent that they decided Aww. to share their experience on TikTok and YouTube. Okay, so just briefly, um, this is a mess but it, this is my bedroom and I've just been sat here just scrolling briefly. Now, every now and then, 
and you can see where it hits. Oh my God, it's just happened again. This thing, look, I'll just show you. There's nothing pulling that open. Every now and then I'll come upstairs and this is what's happening. That door just opened on its own. I saw it as well. What are you going to do about it? Because I'm not dealing with it. <laughs> Why do I always have to be the one? Like, it's like I'm the sacrificial lamb. Literally? Well, I don't want to have to be the one to deal with it. Oh! <laughs> that of itself, clearly. Right, it's Sunday morning. I'm going to need to calm down. Well, so do I. I thought we were being burgled. So did I. It's worse. <laughs> I'd um, rather be burgled. Me too. Uh, Sunday morning, we were just chilling out upstairs in bed and we just heard loads of noise. Oh look, there's a fork on the oh, floor. Look at the state of the place. Um, and this is what we come down to. Look, covered in an absolute <laughs> state. Hang on, I'm just gonna. Oh my god. Did you see that? Oh my god! F off. Then I'm getting out of here. <laughs> <laughs> After doing some research, Laney and Ben discovered that the land their new home was built on used to be an old burial site where several skeletal remains were found during construction. The couple says that they don't feel the presence in their home to be aggressive right now, but the paranormal activity does seem to be becoming more extreme as the weeks pass. Oh, look, oh, that's so cute. Look at him, man. <laughs> But give him a bloody his toys that we spent 30 quid on at the start. He won't play with them like this. <laughs> He's not interested. Give him a ribbon that we found the or something. lying about. He loves it. Was that a ball? I think it was. <laughs> this book's just come off this shelf. And I blame. <gasps> I blame you. Why? No, hang on, hang on. Before I blame you. Why? Oh, it's broken. Why? I blame you because you were asking for something. Yeah, about an hour ago. Then, after all that, one night, things get truly bizarre. You gonna speak or not? Shall yeah. I do it? All right. That door was like, it was shut, but not on the latch, and it's just opened, so, um, yeah, like, now you, now you've but got I've got a, a load of grief in the comments because I sent you to go and deal with the, this cupboard door and now that door's triggered. Oh my so, God, I've seen this. And I'm not, I'm not down for that. <sighs> Just that clip, I haven't seen the rest of it. I don't, that's just scared the out of me. What the I'm gonna say that there's something attached to that. Look under the foot and table as well, showing there's no in it. I'm not down for that. That's a dishwasher under the, well, you know, unit, washing machine. Where could somebody be hiding? Oh. That was me. Oh God, you can't even see up there. An empty water bottle flies across the kitchen, startling both Ben and Lainey. Lainey snatches it up immediately to prove that there are no wires or strings and Ben reveals that there are no accomplices hiding in the kitchen cupboards. To this day, the couple continues to share their creepy experiences on their TikTok and YouTube channel, hoping one day they will find more answers to their mysterious haunting. Be sure to check out Laney and Ben's YouTube channel or TikTok for future updates. Thanks for watching. Don't forget if you want- That's cool. I like, uh, that was a pretty good one, actually, the last one. Um, yeah, like I said, I saw the last clip already. I don't, I don't know where I saw it, um, but I knew the bottle was going to be thrown. Um, I hadn't seen the ones prior to that though, so where like the things are being pulled off the shelf, um, the ones where things are being pulled off the shelf and like the something breaks there as well, um, that was probably the most convincing out of the rest of them to me, just because like you see them both in the in the same shot, like watching it happen. Um, Obviously, where they uh, the last one is quite interesting because they're recording the door. I think they said that it was off the latch, so it's kind of, it's it's in front of the front door. So obviously, there could have been an airflow there that opened it up. Um, that yeah, there's a lot of weird stuff that's going on there. That was quite interesting. Um, 
<laughs> they said, oh, it doesn't seem to be aggressive. And then they go down to the kitchen and there's just stuff thrown everywhere. Like someone's ransacked the place. I thought that was quite funny. Um, okay, that last one, in terms of spooky, if that was happening to me, I'd be super spooked. Um, they don't seem that spooked, though. Maybe they're just used to that sort of stuff now. Like, you know, the, the, the sort of the, hesi the hesitating with stuff, which is obviously you expect. And I suppose they're more joking about it than anything. Um, but I don't know, there's something about their reactions that kind of doesn't sit fully right with me. It doesn't... It... I know I personally would be a lot shakier with that stuff happening. Like when the bottle flew off and then she's like, ha picks up the bottle. If that was If that was me, I'd be like, oh, here's the bottle, see? But maybe they're just used to it. Maybe they're numb to it at this point. Um, to that extent, anyway. That was good. Uh, I'm going to give that... A f it didn't really spook me. I'm going to give that a three. Maybe a four. No, I'm going to give it a three. I'm going to give that a three. Um, this video is definitely scarier. Um, towards the start. That was, that was... Some of these were really spooky. Um... I think that was the spookiest one was the one with the the woman on the bed that gets yanked off. Hate that. That's like nightmare fuel. Absolutely hate that. And also the one where the guy uh, in in the security camera, this one, um, where you just see someone like stood there. Now obviously that could just be like a an illusion that's happened, um, but I believe this one to be true in the sense of this guy is legit. He saw this weird thing on the camera and it spooked him out. I think that's what makes it so creepy for me as well, is that this is so believable. And it's also like it could be an illusion, but also it's just weird and it's kind of unexplained. I'd, yeah, I don't know what your your thoughts are on that. That's um, Yeah, I enjoyed that. That was good. That was another good video by Nuke. Um, yeah, so, well, this video has probably gone on for quite a while. It has. Um, right, I'm going to end it there. Um, let me know, is there any other videos that you want me to check out? And also what I do want to know is, have any of you had any kind of experiences like this? Have you had any paranormal experiences, creepy experiences um, that you'd be willing to share? Because if so, let me know in the comments. I'd be really fascinated um, to learn about those. So yeah, if you've managed to stick to the end here, thank you so much. I really appreciate you. Um, but yeah, we'll end it there. Goodbye.